Hi guys. Hello people. <laughs> I'm Elena. Hello. And uh, we're watching Hunter Hunter episode 50. Like our fifth episode for the day. We made it people. We made it. We even though I want watch. more. Even I know. I want more. And I like, honestly want more. And I would. could. I feel like I could watch at least three more episodes. I could. This but like so we need easy, to leave our bingeable. house in 50 minutes. Yeah. So, th- so that's why we're going to keep intro short. Very short. Yeah. I'll, we know where we left off. I don't know how our children are in the position that they're in. Shocked they they're are, in the position that they're yeah, in. Yeah, they are with the Phantom Troop. Who the fucking thought? I, Who I would have thought that in that dungeon that they are in, that never really our boys would be the ones that come there first and no. not like Kurapika. No, you know? I would have never guessed that. No one fucking guessed but that. But that's not something new for this Who show. Who would have guessed that like they would hire K- Kilo's father and grandfather to like get the Phantom Possibility. Troop? Possibility. I wouldn't have thought of that. We thought of it, but like that. it's not that hard to imagine. We it's have sassies. to see Chirola, Krola, Sorola. <laughs> Leader. Leader. Yes, in a suit. <laughs> Now when it's Srola or something like that. <laughs> something like a completely not even... <laughs> Kol. <laughs> yeah, Kol. <laughs> something in you know, another... Completely unrelated to how it's spelled. Um, we, he is like, I guess, searching for a child. He left by himself. Like, yeah. There's nothing for us him to do. He's like gonna search for information because like they know that he is acting as a bodyguard to the neon girl. So like they can find him kind of easily, I feel like. Yeah. That's what he's doing. Yeah. And what we are doing is playing music because they are really understand this but look at that. we know you look at this one it's an eye <laughs> i know oh. <laughs> he's really he is really not someone to play them <laughs> yes <laughs> yes <laughs> You? I mean, Shizuki will forget. Levi does not. Oh, okay. What? Does she suck her memories with the vacuum as well? What is happening? Once, once she forgets something, she will never remember it. Why? Why? Because he's bored. What's happening? Like, Leave our let's... boys alone. Leave our. Oh, child. Okay. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think. I mean, at least I think so. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> because because sense, like, though. oh, you beat. I was like, what? How did I force that? He's a guy. Uh, uh, yes. It's fucking disturbing because, like, first. When he said he likes gone, he's gonna help us for his account. I said, oh my god, yes, exactly what I want. And then you said, oh my god, no. And then I remember that he likes In gone. what way he In likes him? Some weird way, you know? And like, and you know, creeps. A pedophile. Disgusting. A pedophile. There is no if, or, and but. What is the saying go? No ifs and but. I don't know. Is it? What did it change? I wasn't looking at all at the screen! No, no, it changed now, I think. Immediately now. Are you the, was it the I same? I think so, because like, uh, uh, the scene before was the same. Who is he fighting? It looked like he was fighting the uh, Uvo. I was looking back! Missing? I was looking at somewhere else! No, but like, I honestly think we, me- we saw it immediately because I, I recognized the same scene and then it changed. Ally and sword. Ally is Hisoka's sword. Oh, he. Stop doing that to him. Go. You won against a child. Good for you. He's 12. Like, is he a prodigy? Sure, but like, he's still a 12 year old. Okay. God, you bore me now. I want you dead now. Oh. Huh. He cares. <laughs> 
Come on, you know, you fucking know. Oh my god, boy, you fucking know! Don't drink again. You will see, I was her instinct. Yeah. She can read memories or something? Yeah, something like that. Memories, yeah. What fucking power is that? Because like right now I know we have to leave before they try again No, when they say check can, the, can they fucking read my mind? Yes, yes Yes, yes, don't Rainer, stop it. わざわざ子供を使わなくても、ノストラードファミリーを通じて情報はいくらでも入ってくる。一応腐りやろうは、組に所属してるわけだからね。そりゃそうだ。俺たちの標的は腐りやろうだけだ。それ以外は放っておけ
致命傷を忘れかけたらそしたら俺は動けたかなできないねお前は人のいるものを殺せるか殺せないかでしか判断できない違う勝ち目のない敵とは戦うな俺が口を酸っぱくして教えたよね違う You will protect him in a heartbeat. You will be able. What are we doing? What is happening here? What's happening? Someone hug him. And what universe would he leave you? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? But he's ready to do it. I don't know if he's ready to do it. I don't know if he's ready to do it. そこに踏み込めば致命傷は確実だからこそ意味があるんだ無理だねお前にはうるせえよやってみなきゃわかんねえだろ What or how are we doing this as well? キルは何考えてんだあいつの処罰は俺が死んでも止めるからその間に逃げろっつってんだよ They love each other so much. I can't hear this hit him over the head. You just hit him over the head. <laughs> okay, what can Why? we do with that? Boy, you're like a step ahead of me. I don't know what that means. Sides, something sides. Like to seem like it, nothing came out, even though something came out. Is that what sidestepping was? Or fight from side and do what from the side. Okay. Oh yeah! yeah, yeah. My children. <laughs> yeah. No, he's. Don't really. Don't think so. Is he there? テントレンの行動を応用技。やばい。エンドレス。通常は体の周囲数ミリから。I Best boys. Oh. 
近くに聞くのが一番手っ取りが早いんだけどなあなんだよ<笑>あいつらの仲間を倒したっていう鎖野郎がクラピカだからさえっ I was wondering if you realize as well 俺たちにもチャンスはあるクラピカと同じ時期に念を覚えたんだけどな、うん、俺たちの資質にあった俺たちだけの能力、oh, yeah. でもそれ以上に旅団と同等以上に戦える能力が必要だ、yeah. oh. その答えの鍵を握ってるのがクラピカってことかああその頃養父親の中心部で新たな嵐が巻き起こるのを見つけたのクラピカは今日の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の夜の I love them so much, I was like crying again. I like Franklin. I love this. I love them so much, here's my child. We have so little time to speak. We have like But 10 like, minutes. At least I'm happy that we have watched. Uh, we managed to watch five episodes. We managed to watch five episodes today. Guys, what a great day. What, what a, great a day day terrific day this was. Could I have watched five more? Yeah. Absolutely. At least two. Absolutely. At least two. I feel like we would have been feeling better. I just feel like, like as long as this arc lasts, it's going to be impossible to stop it. I don't Honestly. know what anyone wants me to do with this arc. Like, it's uh, about to be my favorite thing ever. I really, I just, the troop members, I just really like them. I just really, like, th this is the type of, like, villains I enjoy. Like, this is all that I enjoy. Like, we got a bit more insight in it. I didn't think I was going to have more insight in Ubo after he fucking died. Yeah. But, like, we had more insight yeah. into them. And, like, that makes it so much more interesting. We were talking about, like, we don't know how they care for each other. Like, how they understand caring or anything yeah. like that. But, like, we see that they do. In some, their in their Yes, room. or at least, like... You know, I don't fucking know his name, N N N Nakabusa, Nabakusa. Mm -hmm. I like it's not even close to that, but you know which guy I mean, the one with the ponytail. But like he was, I mean, he cried. <laughs> he cried over his friend who died, and he said like that uh, Uba was simple. He liked to fight, but that he was always a better fighter when he was fighting for someone. Which, which I is love. I, that that is so fascinating like it gives it more dimension like it makes it complicated are they are, are they still all awful of course they are mm -hmm. no one is gonna even start to like try to argue that like if tomorrow kurapika comes and kills all of them what can you say to that you can really not say much but like i love that they are very complex people that like even though they might have no feelings for anyone whatsoever like some of them might just care about the other people that like they they are with like they said that they knew each other before they were uh, part of the phantom troop like they were friends in a way mm. and now they're gone and like he was very sad about it about yeah. who were being gone i mean the thing with Dubo is that, like i like that he found out more yeah uh but at the same time like i When I heard that, and when I heard that would have made me love, like, whatever, have some feelings towards Uvo. But we have watched today, 47th episode. Yeah. And, like, just in front of my eyes, I have seen that he doesn't remember Kurt yeah. Yeah. Like, I Like, when, when, we, when I heard that, like, for a second there, I was like, oh my God. You know, like, I really love that they, that he's... Uh, better at fighting and much stronger when he's fighting for some of them yeah. that means so much to me but at the same time just in front of that I uh, in front of my face like I saw that he doesn't remember Kurta clan and that he doesn't know what scarlet eyes are yeah and that he doesn't care that he killed them and destroy Kurapika's life yeah you know so Yes, make me care. Yes, I love finding out these things. 
uh, I the, I'm gonna see how I feel for some of them. You know, if I want every single one of them. That I mean, I, not want, but like, if I'm gonna be okay seeing uh, Kurapika kill them. You know. Yeah. Like, uh, because like, for example, Le- Levi annoys me. <laughs> Honestly, Levi annoys mm. me. Uh, it's like right now, if let's say Kurapika would just like, <laughs> just like go straight to accident. Levi. <laughs> exactly. Just like Kurapika, if, that one, if the I would, small one there, the one I liked in the beginning the most. <laughs> because like he reminds you of Levi. It's just because of that, I because mean, he looks looked cool. Yeah, yeah. I, think I just it. like seeing the way that the, the, the they function. They're like, you know, that we can't have more serious fights. Like we have to flip a coin, and like everyone respects it. Everyone That's just very does it. Like yeah. the way that they function is so fascinating to me. Yeah. And like even them planning to like release Gon and Kilua to me yeah. was like, oh, they didn't have fucking cross my mind. Like when they, they took them, I was like, they're going to try to get some information or whatever. And if they don't, well, I mean, just kill them because like, why would you not? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I thought it was going to be more like in those lines. I mean, I didn't think that they would kill them. I thought maybe that potentially they would wait for the boss to uh, make yeah. a judgment, you know, to de- for him to decide if they're going to kill them or not. Yeah, because like I remember Uwa, but like he could at that point just be bullshitting, but like because like to for Kurapika to release him, but I remember him saying, "If you are not dead and dead, like I have no business with you. Just let me, yeah, I'm gonna let you go. I don't yeah. care for you. Like if you let me go right now, I will yeah. not touch you. You know. Yeah, and that stuck a bit with me where I thought maybe that's their call code that they go by. They have a job. They they do their job. If they need to kill, they kill. If they need to steal, they steal. Yeah. But like it's not like they're gonna walk down the street and kill everybody around them. Yeah. It's more like this is the thing they do. This is their job. Yeah. But so like it, it makes uh, it makes dual scene when he said just kill me uh, when Kurapik wanted to know yeah. like, where they are. Like it makes it sadder because like then it is like him also. Yeah, not is. giving them up. Yeah, like if he is better at fighting yeah. for them, then there was not a, even a chance no. for him no. saying anything about that. Them. Is fucking fascinating. But like the the, the scene, killed, I yeah. loved the most because like at that point when like the guy on end, I think, was like shedding tears for mm-hmm. Uva. Uh, the 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 scene that brought me back to reality because like mm-hmm. I was like, oh my yeah. god, he can yeah. feel something, and then gone. that made gone so mad. Yeah, my child who wears his emotions on his sleeves and who is the most like precious thing in the world, who is like, so like you have the capacity basically to care about someone. You have like you I can thought feel empathy. That, yeah, like I thought that you were all just a bunch of psychopaths that had no capacity for any type of emotion so like you do this but like you have capacity for emotion so like how can you not feel anything when you go and kill so many people so many innocent people he got so mad he put everything like this was after he was got so very tired he put everything into like his hand and like he defeated that fucking moment that fucking my swedish child but that's, what a gem. Yeah, but that's the reason why I always think that he's not going to cross so many lines. Yeah. Like, yes, his character can go a bit darker and stuff like that. But, like, just because who he is in a court, yes, yeah, sometimes he can be oppressed by something that is not right or yeah. good. But, like, he is good in his core. Yeah. You know, yeah. maybe sometimes he can differentiate what's right or wrong, but he is good in his court. Mito raised him, for the yeah. love of God, you know? Because, like, he knows what is right and wrong here. <laughs> and he like, knows empathy, yeah. you know? Yeah, and he uh, told he told Kilua something along the lines of, like, you know, it, it's my job to basically, like, maybe make dumb decisions. It's your job to, like, be cool and collected and just, yeah. like, you know, figure <laughs> that out. So, like, let's just, let's do that. But, like, I I cannot express to you how much I adore them. Uh, like, how much I adore are that friendship. By, they are by far my favorite thing in the show. I love Kurapika. I adore Kurapika. I think he's an amazing character. But like their friendship and they their care for each other. I think care between care, some characters will always be my favorite thing in anything. Yeah. So like care between the two of them. Yeah. You know, the two kids. And one of them is an assassin who is taught never to care. Yeah. It's by far my favorite thing. The feel like uh, Kilua stole my heart in this episode because... Oh my God. Of the fight that he has inside of him. 
Yeah. But he is so determined to fight for Gon yeah. and to save Gon in any situation. Because he froze. He said that he froze when like, that moment he, said he it. Took, uh, like put that, you know, like... Because he felt murderous intent. Yeah, and like so. he froze and he couldn't move and he said like, would I be able to move if like Gon was gonna have like a... Die or something. Yeah, like have a deathly punch or something like that, you know, thrown towards him. Like, would he be able to move? Because, like, he has been thought to not... uh, Like, we went back to his brother. They said, like, I taught you not to attack if you know that you're gonna lose or something like that. I think that's what he... um, He remembered his brother saying that, like, it's not uh, to be... Or like yeah, inherently you, selfish, yeah, yeah. and like that, uh, the only thing that you, that the only way that you should be looking at people is yeah. whether like to kill them or not to kill. not kill them, yeah. and like nothing else. There should be nothing that else. So like not save that them. would like he him diving after gone, knowing that he is fighting someone that he cannot win against, uh, would go directly against any any teachings that he yeah. has. And, like, that is not who he is. Like, he he is not certain that, like, he, he could make his legs move. Yeah. But I am certain. <laughs> I am certain. And, like, when that day comes and you become certain of that, I will fucking die. Uh, yeah. But, like, he... Even after that in the room, he constantly wanted to save Gon. Yeah. And to prove to himself... Yeah. That he would be able to do something like yeah. that. He's like, Gon, I'm going to make a distraction. You run. But I think that day is definitely going to come. Yeah. The moment when he's not even going to think twice about it. The moment when he sees it, he's going to be able to say, just like, save Gon. Yeah. And... <laughs> but like that scene, like the Kurapika Kilua was all like in his head. And like, you know, he's remembering his brother's worlds and everything is like, yeah. dark and like it's sad and he's like telling Gon to like leave and then just suddenly like the scene switches to being ridiculous Gon's like what are you talking about like, yeah. like <laughs> stop being selfish <laughs> and he's like and he's like but you uh, you uh, when you uh, in the previous scene you you were the one who was risking your life yeah. he's like I'm allowed to do that you're, you're not, not. <laughs> because I love you yeah. And it's like I can risk my and life, then, and you can't risk and your And then life. guys started laughing and said, "You guys, are, you kids are like r- ridiculous or something." That they're adorable. Don't understand. They're I just, adorable. I just love the way they do this because, like, they they combine these like serious yeah. moments, yeah. and then like, yeah. oh, they are twelve years old. They're literally, 12 you know, years. they are twelve years old. I just, I like the amount of love and warmth that I feel yeah. in those scenes with Gon and Kilua. That like. That I still believe we're just the beginning. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I really believe that, with that, like, what is going to be happening for the rest of the show is very much going to be focused They're gonna be on core their of friendship. Yeah. Just like the, the the same thing that Gon said. Like, Gon said it. It's your job to stay cool and collected and it's my job to, like, lose yeah. my mind or something like yeah. that. Like, that could be foreshadowing if Gon falls into some type of, like, maybe wrong road or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, like, I, I definitely think that's that, happening yeah. because like, uh, Gon is kind of what saved Kilua. Yeah. So like, it could yeah. be very interesting to see the reverse part yeah. of, it, of it. But like, yeah, he's gonna be his anchor. Yes. Nice. That's so, that's so fucking adorable. Mm-hmm. But I just also want to say about Kilua, I just love seeing how smart he is, yes. how intuitive he is, yeah. how can feel things he understand things he uh feel how ha- feels how this one is strong what they can do and stuff like that oh, he's just I like really very are... in tune he's yeah, like he i entered think... he saw he saw he's like don't react i can't yeah like, gone immediately oh <gasps> <laughs> i'm like look at that one <laughs> That is so no, ridiculous. Like, that, that is, exactly. like, they have so many different strings. Like, so yeah. fucking funny. Yeah. Uh, but, like, immediately they mentioned Chain User yeah. working for the the family and yeah. whatever. And, like, immediately he'll go immediately for Kilua. Go, yeah. And, like, he's I, so panicked to not, like, reveal his yeah. identity. Even though, like, both of them are fucking in danger. Yeah. You know, like, he's not doing anything. And tell you, that tells you a lot about Kilua. That he doesn't want to reveal Kurapika's... Uh, Kurapika. yeah. I don't know why I can't pronounce his name. Kurapika's identity at yeah. all. That tells you a lot. I just I think we have seen that much more in the past three episodes than before, yes. let's say. Yes. Which is interesting, yeah. Uh, I, didn't expect, I didn't expect that we were going to, like, let's say, delve deeper mm. into 
them because like and I thought Kilo like this is you know Kurapika yeah. Kurapika's arc and I thought like we were gonna you know wait for that and like we still are gonna wait for that but like mm. we are getting some things I mean especially I with, like that. his father and like grandfather or whatever yeah. like coming yeah. as well to yeah. to hunt for the phantom troop and they're like now going to search for Kurapika because like they're Kurapika is the one Kurapika is the one that defeated this one and we need him to teach us yeah we need to know Me. so like guys next episode Reunion. Should be the one. Should be reunion. Like, it's called a brutal battlefield. That does not sound like a reunion episode, but like... In in the midst of a brutal battlefield, Gone and Kill Lord come. They Very big possibility. Because like, they said something in the city is brewing, and the brewing part is the Trollo guy. Yeah, definitely. I can't, it's so funny. Trollo. Trollo. Crollo. I don't know. I, guys... <laughs> Like, what was happening? Okay, this is so ridiculous. What was happening for the first 40 episodes? <laughs> what was happening for the first 40 episodes? Like, Hunter Ex- uh, Arena. Okay, Arena. Like, a fine. Bit. We Cutish. found out like, a lot about Ned. Yeah, but, like, absolutely. Hunter Exam. What the fuck was that? <laughs> like, our boys were at least all together. You know, we had Loved that. We it. met them yeah. and we fell in love with yeah. them and we exactly. never looked back. Yeah. But, like, the stakes in this and everything Much is happening. Much like, what right are, now. like... And the development of the characters. Like, what the fuck? My boys. I... I want to watch next one. Unfortunately, we, we can't, but we will this week. We will this yeah, week. Yes, we'll watch more. So, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you very soon. Bye.